Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to cover how to navigate from one activity to another activity. Also, uh, not just navigating, I am going to demonstrate how to pass data from one activity to the next activity. So here we have an activity 1 and we have an edit text and a button. And clicking this button, the value entered in this edit text will be passed on to the next activity. Here I have a second activity and I am going to pass the value from here to there with the help of intent. So on taking this show button, suppose I am entering a value like hello. So this value will be transferred from the activity 1 to the activity 2. In activity 2, I have a text to view and this text to view will show the content received from the activity 1. So let us look how it works. So this experiment concentrates mainly on linking the activities. So we already know that um, in general we call the web pages as pages in the name of pages. So when it comes to Android this name is always called activity. So activity is a screen which is able to hold <coughs> more number of views. So here is an example. Uh, this is what we are going to uh, demonstrate in this uh, video. So here I have an activity 1. So the activity 1 has one edit text and a button. And also activity 2 is having a, a text view. So how these two activities interact with each other. So in this experiment I am going to pass the value placed inside this activity 1 to this activity 2. So here I am entering a text hello in the edit text and on pressing this button send it will be transferred to the second activity and whatever the message which is entered in the view 1 is displayed in the second activity. Okay, let us demonstrate how it will happen inside the Android Studio. So here I have an <coughs> layout, linear layout and inside that linear layout I am going to place an edit text. Yes. So I have to fix some IDs here. ID slash so edit text one. <coughs> so I place that ID as ED one. So inside the edit text, I just specify a hint text. Uh, enter a value. So this value will appear in the edit text. Okay, again. This will appear here and after that I am going to place a button and I have given the name for the button as B1. Also the text to be appeared on the button is said to be uh, send. So the designing part of the first activity is over. So I have created the first screen. And our aim is to create another activity that is a screen and pass the value which is obtained through this edit text. So to create another XML uh, <coughs> activity screen, I have to right click on the layout folder. 
so in the layout folder we have to select new and select activity <coughs> here we have plenty of activities so for my need I just use empty activity so here we may specify the name of the activity or we may keep uh, the desired name also so I just change the name of the activity to <coughs> second activity so when this this checkbox is ticked generate a layout file it will automatically create another java file so when you look at this the sidebar you may see only main activity dot java file only so after finishing this setup now look at this status so inside the layout folder we have two xml files one is activity underscore main dot xml and another one is activity underscore second dot xml so also <coughs> in the java section we have a main activity and a second activity so as of now we don't have to concentrate much on the java files so let us create <coughs> the contents for the second activity so to simplify these settings I am using only linear layout here <coughs> so namespace so with attribute and then height attribute also have to fix the orientation Now I am going to place a text view here. So I just use wrap content. So I have to set an ID for this. ID slash. So already we have text view one in the activity one. So I just change the name to text view two. So this text view. It's not visible here <coughs> when we fix some text here it will show and look at this the screen you have a small text box here just I just convert the, the width to match parent you might have seen that so we have a text view here so <coughs> so as I already told I have created these two activities so first activity has edit text and a button <coughs> and the second activity has only a text view now I have to send some data from the first activity to the second activity so main activity underscore main dot xml and its related content is placed in main activity dot java file so now I have to pick I have to represent the button and the edit text so I have to create an object for button and the edit text okay. so after this send content view I have to set v1 button type then find view by id followed by r dot id dot b1 now it's time to pick edit text so edit text find view by id of 81 so so those xml values are fetched here so <coughs> now we have to create an click event for the button so set on click listener of new view dot on click listener of now I have to get the value which is available in the edit text ok so we have to pass some value to the next activity so 
we have to use indent i1 equals new indent of so in this indent uh, we may specify where this indent starts and uh, where it moves on so if i just specify this it will refer to the current activity or else i have to specify main activity dot this so both versions are same so from this activity i'm going to move on to the second activity so i have to specify second activity dot class okay now the question is where we are passing the data so i am going to pass this data to the second activity so what data is going to uh, transfer from here to there so for that i have to use the indent object dot set sorry put extra of so i am going to use this function to pass the value so how to name that entity and for this entity i'm going to send the value of the edit text only so et1 dot get text this will get the value from the edit text and we have to convert it to string using dot to string now i have to start an activity start activity of i1 now this uh, portion of java code is ready to pass data from the main activity to the second activity now my work is to get the values from the main activity the second activity must be ready to receive these values so now it's time to code in the second activity so i have created a text view named tv2 as i already have no i have to use tv1 so in that tv1 i'm going to link a text view find view by id of r dot id dot tv That is, I am fetching the detail of the second XML file. Here we have a text view. Its name is TV2, and it is referred in the second activity. So, now what I am going to do to set a particular value in this text view. So, for that, I am going to create another indent in the second activity. Indent i2 equal to instead of creating new indent. I am using a method get indent of. So this indent is not imported here. So I am importing the indent. Import Android dot content dot indent. So this error message went off. So now I have to place. the value received in the text view one so set text of so the received message this message text is concatenated with the received text message so received message equals plus i2 dot get string extra of message okay okay let us try to run this program we have to start our running from the main activity 
so this is the first activity so we have to start it from here so now let us run the app is installing we have to wait for a few more seconds now the app launches so now I am entering a text as hello friends I'm clicking send this message is received in the second activity so received message equals hello friends now let us changing that value now the hello friends is replaced with it. how are you i'm using another word. one more time i just send that value from the main activity to the second activity so the received message equals how are you this is how we are uh, transferring one data from one activity to the another activity. If you like to pass uh, some values from this uh, activity to the previous activity, the same procedure may be involved. Okay. These are the steps in creating and uh, passing values between an activities. Thank you.